Now, former Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak is widely expected to be a free man in just a matter of hours. The country's prosecution office ordered his release. Mubarak's lawyer says he expects the former leader to return to his residence within the next few days. The petition of his release is based on the amount of time he's already spent in military hospital. Now, Mubarak led Egypt for almost 30 years until he was toppled in 2011. He was later prosecuted on a variety of charges, including corruption and murder, but almost all the cases eventually floundered. Well, let's get you more perspective on that story now. I'm joined live from Cairo by political analyst Bashir Abdel Fattah. Uh, Bashir, first off, what is the significance of Mubarak's release after years on trial? I mean, essentially, is this a positive or negative reflection of uh, Egypt's judiciary system? First of all, I'd like to thank you for having me this night. Um, uh, the judiciary system in Egypt it seems to be free, objective, and independent because Mubarak uh, was trialed in front of the normal uh, trial, normal court, not military uh, trial or court. Uh, uh, the second point is uh, that uh, Mubarak was uh, trialed in different levels of courts and uh, trials. Uh, uh, the third point is uh, uh, the, the, the trial depend on documents and evidences. And Mubarak was lucky that no documents and no evidence against him. So uh, that's why he was released, because uh, the court cannot find any uh, uh, concrete evidences or documents against him. Uh, uh, so we can say in general that uh, the court and the, the judiciary system in Egypt is completely independent and objective. And Bashir, what's next now for uh, Hosni Mubarak? Do you think that he may uh, look to have a hand in Egyptian politics in the future, or is that all over now? I don't think so, because first of all, Mubarak now is an old man. He is more than 85 years old. Uh, and I think since 10 years ago, Mubarak was out of order. He cannot resume his political life because of uh, uh, he was uh, sick and uh, has many illnesses uh, that cannot help him to resume his normal life. Uh, the second point, which is very important, is that Mubarak was convicted and condemned uh, uh, by a, a, a corruption case and he was jailed for three years because of corruption and the presidential palaces, he and his two sons. Uh, so he is now losing a, a very important condition for resuming his political life. So I don't think that he has any chance to resume his political life again. And what of uh, Mubarak's assets? We know, of course, that at some point there were, his assets were frozen um, at the request of Egyptian prosecutors. What is the situation now when it comes to his personal wealth? Um, uh, Mubarak's wealth in Switzerland was more than 700 million Swiss francs. It means the six Egyptian, uh, six billion Egyptian pounds. Um, uh, th this uh, assets was frozen after the after the 2011 uh, uh, movement, um, and now after uh, he was released. The Swiss authorities declared that as long as Mubarak is a free man, he can restore his assets and his money from the Swiss banks. Um, in addition to that, there is no decision for the confiscation of Mubarak assets in Switzerland. And the Swiss authorities didn't try to open investigation or questioning uh, for how Mubarak gained his money. So after his release, he can restore his money without any conviction or something like this. Um, uh, uh, but if the Egyptian authorities could give any evidences that Mubarak uh, gained his money and assets through illegal ways, I think they can open a new case in that sense. Well, thank you very much for that analysis. Bashir Abdel Fatsa joining us there from Cairo on the fact that, of course, uh, Mubarak is a free man.